Shit, I'm out. Guys, we're almost halfway done. SOS! Oh my god. Oops. Oh my god, this one is looks terrible. Oh my god. Oh my god. Don't die. I did die though. I'm out. That was close. I was frantically pressing like I and start and select. I gotta get up! I gotta get up! <laughs> oh my god, they're all going for you. Good. Let them fight. <laughs> Let them come. an end. I need that, but... Or you need it. Yay! God, I'm like too... I'm way too fast. I can't... I can't control myself. The thing that fire doesn't actually hurt us. I guess it's because we're dragons. I mean, floor fire doesn't hurt us. Are we, are we dragons, though? We're bubble dragons. That's literally what we're supposed to be. It's, it's what the game tells us. Our girlfriends don't appear to be that attractive, to be honest. I think that they are also turned into bubble dragons. Yay. It's a butterfly! Nice! Ready. I don't know what this means, though. <laughs> it's just an extra life. I think that's literally all it is. It's so much to do. Nice to play a. Uh... It's so much to do about a single extra life. <laughs> oh my god. And just business as usual. Yep. What are these, like, Christmas elves? These are the elves that we later ended up cleaning up. In the Viscera cleanup detail. Ah, so this but is a prequel. Santa. Yeah. What is this? Elf erasure oh. propaganda. Got him. <coughs> Man, we're halfway done. Ah, shit. Ah, oh, shit, I did it again. Ow, making, like, weird sounds. They they shoot things. The elves shoot things. 
How rude. I need that tea. That's right. Oh god. Uh, uh, uh. Yes, game, I know. I know to hurry up. It's okay. Whee! Oh my god, that was close. It's like ah. half a second too late. You brought a pox on my side of the screen. I didn't do it. They all busted out of their own bubble. They're they only they're only trapped in it for so long and then they bust out. Come on. You can jump up. Come on. Come on, guys. There you go. Oh no. <laughs> Hurry up! Oh, no. Got him. There's no way I can get that. It's quitter talk. No! <laughs> you will quit. I still need a tea. We just got one of each. Well, two of the... Two of those guys. Oh, that was so close. Excuse you, we just got here. <laughs> what? Got him. Oh my god, why are there so many elves? Oh, else. I think they're throwing bottles. What sort of... They might be... They might be drunkies. I think that there is an enemy in this game called Drunks. And I think that's what they are. I don't know why that is. I think, like, the main boss is called, like, Boss Drunk or something like that. I, so <laughs> I don't know if he's supposed to be, like... Fever dream. I think, no, well, I think he might just be a, a wino wizard. Ah, I'm out. Oops. I think you're out too now. R10? Ah, shit. What is going on with these things? Holy shit. Well, these are new. Oh. Oh my god. I'm oh off. my god, okay. Well. Oh my god. Uh. Space invaders. Yeah, they are like practically space invaders. Um, okay, I need to. Oh, oh they're wait. paralyzed with fear. Yeah, it's because I got the, the special thing. Uh. 
Ah, I should have. Someone's out. Oh, no! Yes, I'm oh, out. Oh, no, I died! Okay, that was really quick. Uh, I'm out. God, that could have been disastrous. It's just getting hard with these stupid space invaders. Drunky. No. Uh, oh, oh. Come on down. Come on down, drunky. He's he's on you. Isn't my bubble going up? No. Oh God. Pretty sure they're still human. Yeah, I think they're still human too. You're right. They're just not actually attractive enough for us to undertake this quest to rescue them. <laughs> oh so no, I died. Saying we should just hang out with the drunk elves or yeah. dwarves. They could be dwarves. Yeah, they could be dwarves. They could they could have dwarfism. We are going. Is that a water underground or spigot? Is that what that was? Uh, oh my god! I'm out. I'm about to be out because I'm not going to survive. I I did. I'm out. Instantly. I'm in. Oh. oh shit. God, that guy isn't such an asshole. Glad they gave us that like half a second lead. Oh shit. Hmm. 
Nice, nice, nice. Nice. Very nice. That was amazing. Now, would you say this is the Dark Souls of Bubble Bobble? <laughs> Bubble Bobble is the Dark Souls. The game in general is the Dark Souls of Bubble Bobble. Oh my god! Ah, what I'm out. you're saying is... It's really... Just Dark Souls is the Bubble Bobble of video games. Yes. Now, Dark Souls is really more like Castlevania, but Bubble Bobble is pretty goddamn hard. Nice. Run away! Run away! Alright, if one of you dies, like, you're gonna have to immediately exit out. Because you only have one life each. I think your goal is gonna- oh shit. See, I think your goal is to break one of the fire things over the bottom That's what I'm there. I'm trying to do. Doesn't look like you need to, though. Oh shit. I'm out. Okay. Okay, again. I'm in. Yay. Banana. Oh my god. Uh. No, get off. Oh, well, I died. Died trying to do something creative. Life of spit bubbles. Ah, shit. I don't think I can do that. How do we... How do we get up in there? I mean, yeah, you can jump in there, but the problem ah, is... Ah, shit. Has a very, uh... I'm just gonna let you... robot thing. Try it again. Because we only have one life each, so if we fail... You have to time it when they stop and jump. Okay. No and shit! somehow get down there. Got him! Or get lucky, I guess. Yeah, that was complete luck. Oh. Why are you over here? I... Mistakes were made, alright? <laughs> No. I'm out. No! God, this one is such a bitch. You're just gonna have to try to, your best to do it. Oh my god, that was amazing. It was so fortuitous. This one is 
weird. There you go. High tech. High tech indeed. Nice. Oh, shit. Last joke helped, though. That was moral support. Like, what determines if they'll go up or not? I think it's rent dependent on the stage. Yay! <laughs> uh, it makes such a big deal out of getting one life. I think it might finish the stage, too, actually. Yeah, I think it finishes the stage, too. was a kick in the balls, Greg. It <laughs> was such a kick in the balls. <laughs> Getting all the way up there and then it just hits you from underneath. I can't seem to get <clears throat> in there from the side either. Yeah, it's. I think you just have to get up to the top and bait him up. No. No, I don't want it. <laughs> Ghost whale sees you. Ghost whale is coming for you. No, I don't want it. <laughs> Keep your fins to yourself. No, I don't want it. <laughs> oh, I'm out. All right. <laughs> Very angry. Uh oh, okay, there you go, you got him. Drunk! See, they're called drunks. It's such a weird. They're belligerent drunks, they throw bottles at you. Yeah. No. Oh. I was gonna try to get that, but I don't think I can. Monsters. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> oh shit. Oh my god, what have I gotten myself into? Oh no, 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 no. Okay. Oh, that wasn't actually that hard. <laughs> Thank you. 
famous last words. Well, that one wasn't that hard. This one, for all I know, is... Fucking nameless king. Of Bubble Bobble. <laughs> there you go, there's the cross thing that makes you spit fire. Yeah, I don't know what, like, the use of it is, though. Like, I guess it just instantly kills instead just of kills traps them. Them. trapsing them. That's what I said. Get out of here. Grape whale. Just in case you forgot. <laughs> in why case you forgot why you're fighting. Uh, the descent to the seven hells. Our girlfriends happen to be wearing dresses that are the oh, same shit. color as our dinosaur oh, skin. God. Damn, that was a lot of points. That was a trap. Yeah. Oh no! Um, I didn't realize there was one on. there. Uh, someone, someone get in first! Someone get in! Get in! Okay. <laughs> I'm out. Oh my god. <laughs> it was so close and so... It's so stressful. It's so stressful when we're both on, like, low life. Nice! Wow, I thought you were totally dead when you did that, but nope. No, I was trying to, uh... What do they call it in... in platformers? Precision... precision jumping? Yeah. Oh! Nice. If uh, the green one can get up there and get that T. I don't know if you can, though. There's one. Oh! How? Nice! Now you don't even have to worry about it. No, I'm going to worry about it. This looks like a Dark Souls level. It's all gray. This one's gonna be a ball ache. Ah! Coming in. I guess there's no hitbox porn for that one. this I think we I think we might have screwed ourselves by saving this guy for last unless a um the lightning bolt comes in but I don't I haven't seen one this, this is where our journey ends apparently <laughs> Can you 
bubble his projectile? I don't think so. I'll try, though. No. <laughs> Shit, I'm out. I'm just trying to get back to the bottom. You just have to time it, like, really well. It's, it's, it's a ridiculosity of timing. Damn. Oh, shit. The game needs to throw us a bone, but the game's not going to throw us a bone. No. Don't both of you risk your lives at once now. Yeah, let's just try it one at a time. Just just stay stay in safety, last joke. Because if I die, Craig's gonna have to sub in. Oh no! Okay, I'm out. That was so close. All right, come on. I'll just be the anchor. <laughs> You're always my anchor. Nice if it gave us like a lightning bolt or something. Yeah, just a single lightning bolt is all we need. God damn, I can't. I'm out. The slight upside is because someone's dying at least, we won't get a hurry up. Yeah, that's nice. We have unlimited quarters. I wonder how much we spent on the game so far. In oh, theoretical, to... theoretical quarters. Oh, Craig for the win! We're out of here. Oh Although we God. are both on no lives. Maybe oh, someone God. should just These guys. die. This is, it's gonna happen. I'm ready on I. I'm dead. Oh no! I'm dead. No! Maybe someone should have just stayed in the box. <laughs> we got to 84. Oh my god. Uh, are we done with Bubble Bubble? <laughs> I don't so know if about, I want to. <laughs> about Ninja Gaiden? <laughs> We can do Ninja Gaiden next time. Oh my god. That was about... What? 
nearly two hours of bubble bobble. It was only an hour and a half. Was but it God, only an hour and a half? Yeah, but but Christ Almighty, getting getting all the way down to eighty four. That is the the true arcade experience, getting so far and then running out of money. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, that's it. At least it. this this was the benefit <laughs> of sitting down. Yeah, we didn't have to stand there for an hour and a half doing this. I we did didn't have to once, spend. I did that once with the Simpsons beat 'em up game. I managed to actually beat the Simpsons through a technical exploit. Oh yeah. Being that if I kicked the machine, a token would slip up the the slot and back down, so it thought I gave it another quarter. Oh my god. I, uh, one time when I was waiting for, it must have been one of the prequels, one of the Star Wars prequels, or no, it was one of the, the special editions when they, when they came out with the, you know, the updated, like, CG versions of Star Wars. I was waiting in line at a theater, and the line wrapped around the corner towards the, uh, the little arcade section, and they had, um, you know that game where it's like, it's like 3D, and it has, like, the really big gun, and you're, like, flying around, and you're shooting stuff? Uh, it was that, I can't remember what it's called, like LA Gunners or something like that. Um, and I actually managed to play through the entire thing, standing there in line. And people were actually like clapping for me when I finished it. <laughs> I must have spent like 20 bucks on it too. I, every time I went to an arcade, I always came in, went in with the limit of, I'm only going to, uh, play with five bucks and see how far I get. Usually the game I played was Metal Slug one of the notorious token takers. But I went to one arcade and does anyone, do you, either of you remember, uh, what was it? Carn evil. What was that? It, what game was that? It, it was a rail shooter game, kind of like time crisis, but the yeah. theme was you, you, is it dinosaurs? I, don't know, I guess the old trope is that you were trying to save your girlfriend from evil carnies, so you went in with oh. shotguns. That sounds vaguely familiar, the carnies, but I I don't remember. Was it 3D hey, or was it 2D? Through, like was it, it was three like a 3D rail shooter in the right. same vein as like say House of the Dead, where you All went right. through zones. The zones just happen to be various uh, themes at this carnival. And the main boss, funny enough, on purpose, was named Token Taker. <laughs> I was the only one at the time I went there at the arcade because uh, there was the whole thing of uh, me just not going to high school. So I went to the arcade instead. Wow. I was in class like a delinquent. Naturally, the only really the only person there. So I was decided because there was two guns, I'm going to use both of them. I tell you, those pl tiny little plastic shotguns get very heavy after a while when you're yes. holding them in one hand. Yeah, I but, like the ones that were like on a little, like a like a big gun, but it was on a stick, so you couldn't actually hold it. You just kind of aimed it. Well, you have to. Those things were massive. Yeah. Um, but to further go along with the little story of Carnival, it was one of the many instances I, I actually make made the game break. It got hit with so much processing lag that the game literally froze. I wasn't sure what was going on. So I just kind of like pointed my shotguns at the enemies that weren't moving and pulled the trigger. Till eventually the game's processor caught up and they all just kind of like exploded in simultaneous death. I'm like, holy <laughs> crap, I have my own personal exploit. Because it kept happening. I couldn't make it happen. It just sort of random when it did. But when it did go off, I could do that. Just kill everything on screen. I felt pretty strong there. Made it all the way to the fight with Token Taker, and then the game sort of uh, crashed. Like, fatally crashed. I broke the game. I'm like, okay. <laughs> You're finding I'm all done. the exploits in all the, in all the games. Uh, another time that happened was Soul Calibur 2, when it was in arcades. I The game got so mad at me winning... That it just reset itself. <laughs> I specifically remember I was fighting as Talim against Voldo, and I per got two perfects on him. And th the last one was a ring out, which is the most you know cheesiest of victories. 
and I think the game Rage quit because then it started doing the like the the intro title splash screens. I was like, wait, did the game Rage quit on me? Was I doing too well? <laughs> game was just like, you know what? Fuck you. Fuck you and your skills. The best of those gun shooters was Time Crisis, though. Time Crisis yeah. is very legendary. That was, that was like the first 3D one, wasn't it? The first one that used 3D graphics, I think. I don't know. Because I remember they had like lethal enforcers and stuff uh, and a couple other and like narc uh, before that that used like sprites, like big sprites. I think Time Crisis was the first one that was actually 3D. Certainly the most well-known. Yeah. You can there play. There was one shooter game that I was thought was interesting. Yeah. That was semi VR, meaning that you could it tracked your actual movements so you could duck and weave into cover oh i've seen those you weren't moving but you were stationary i remember it was kind of fun and wore me out obviously a little bit faster than any other arcade game there yeah they have um, um... but i know it had a fit and came with a warning that if you wore a hat the sensor would just like lose its shit i know they had like a boxing game that was like that that had like the whole like the scaffolding of of sensors around it and then you, yeah. you could actually like duck and weave and stuff. I think I prefer just the the pedal. Just the pedal is fine. I don't and need weird things. I, I hated the time crisis machines that had like the static gun because the the original one wore out or something. Because mm. it it wasn't as satisfying as actually having the chamber knock back whenever you pulled the trigger. Yeah, that was so rare to to find one that actually had a working. Like little mechanism in there. That's why I like the big ones, because the big ones, uh, the ones that were like on a stick and you couldn't actually hold, they 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 rocked because they were on the stick. Like the mechanism was inside the machine instead of inside the gun, so you actually got that feedback for the big ones. Well, I guess I guess this is it. I'm still streaming this. Uh, I don't think that anybody watched, but that's fine. Maybe they'll watch Ninja Gaiden. Nobody cares about Bubble Bobble. Uh, <laughs> what are you talking about? The the Academy Award winning music that just so, plays. Do you want me to? Do you want me to 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 spoil the ending of Bubble Bobble for you? So. Yeah. So you get uh you get to the end of the first hundred levels, and you save you you defeat the boss. The boss is like the like the king drunk or the boss drunk or something like that. And you you defeat the boss. I don't even know what the boss fight entails. I I don't know what a boss fight would entail in this game, but it's a boss, and you defeat the boss and you save your girlfriends, and then that's it, and then you you get turned back into regular people and and you go off. And I think they actually made a sequel like a pseudo sequel to Bubble Bobble where you actually play as your like normal person selves and nobody realized that it was a sequel to bubble bobble because it didn't have the bubble dragons in it it you were just like the regular people i don't can't remember what, what the name of the game is anyway the secret ending you have to go through uh the second hundred modes which is the super mode that you can pick from um at the beginning here um, that's why this is the mode select version because you could do that i think previously you had to actually get through the first hundred stages and then another hundred stages after that uh but it's like it's harder. It's like a little faster. Uh, you get to the end of that. You defeat the 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 boss drunk, and then it turns out, boss drunk is actually your parents turned into a monster. Apparently, our parents really didn't approve us <laughs> of our. I don't know. Wadual relationship. I don't know if it was like a wizard that did it, or or if your parents just turned into a monster themselves or what but that's but that's the ending is that is that it's you, all just a metaphor you save your parents and and now it's your parents and your girlfriends and you and you're 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 saved so that's the ending of bubble bubble that's the true ending of bubble bubble and so that's it and that's it for bubble bubble it was fun it was really fun uh playing it with someone and once we got the rhythm down of uh, of swapping out, that was really nice. It was it like added to it. It was like a game in itself. Swap out as fast as you can. 
Uh, well, thanks anybody out there for watching. We're going to stop. We'll definitely do this again. I think we'll probably try Ninja Gaiden again. And then if we do a multiplayer game, we'll do uh, probably Turtles. Turtles arcade game. We'll do like the four player version, even though there's only three of us. But at least that yeah. way we'll all play together. Uh, bye. Goodbye. Bye.